I don't know. It's been a day. Let's let's maybe we'll play a good a good video game. And we'll have fun. Maybe this will be mm. the one. I think we'll have fun, but. Wow. I can't confirm that we'll have fun. But we will play video games, that's for sure. Oh yeah, a whole heap of them. For sure. <laughs> Sony Computer Entertainment America presents? It's... It's... Jumping Flash? No. Exact? Is this a production credit or a title? It is Jumping Flash. Ha! Hello! Ah, yeah. I like Jumping Flash. Maybe it's Jumping Flash 2. I haven't seen... Oh, I've never seen, yeah. But I nailed it from the asteroids, everybody. That's my super skill. In the backwater reaches of the galaxy lies a tiny planet known as Little Moo that is used by Baron Aloha as his secret hideout. The Baron returned to his home away from home to rejuvenate from a recent beating he took at the hands of the feet of that heroic battle buddy known as Robert. He was in the process of inventing a better, stronger, more absurd way to overthrow the universe when Little Moo is visited by a stranger. In fact, oh. there is nothing stranger in the universe than the creature known only as Captain Kabuki. Tipping the scales yeah. and dropping 220 bazillion tons. Agreed. He uses a kung fu grip larger than metropolitan Chicago to shred Little Moo and add it to his fantastic collection of bottled Wonderlands. <laughs> Using his keen sense of villain timing, Baron Aloha hastily departs the scene and lands upon a small asteroid. Unable to cope with the monstrosity that is Kabuki, he calls Universal City Hall and begs for help as his beloved hideaway is made into so much Swiss cheese. After listening to the Baron's plight, the interest I don't remember Jumping Flash 1 having this much setup. No, it had no setup. Okay. Jumping Flash 2. Big trouble in Little Moo. I can't believe I can't believe I nailed it. All right, let's go. Movie mode. Support AI. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hmm. Let's do it! I can... Okay, weird. I don't know what any of this means. Well, he, he... Wherever he wants? Yeah, he just rips chunks out of planets and puts them in bottles? Huh. Alright, is this a, uh... Did they add analog controls, do you think? I'm curious to see, because I Let's remember the it. first, oh. No, they did not. This is still a D-pad game. Boing, boing, boing. Ooh. Uh, in All case right. anyone's unfamiliar with Jumping Flash, it's about jumping. Got him! And shooting Kiwis. Um, that's more Jumping Flash too, I think. All right, what is, okay, that's look up and down. It was a interesting run at the concept of a 3D platformer. Well, it was very early. Like I said, there's no, there's no uh, dual sticks yet in this game. I, I know. That's what I mean. Is like nobody really knew. I mean, 3D platforming was very new, and this yeah. was an interesting run at the concept before it became sort of what we're familiar with. Well, it's smart that they did this with the view. Oh yeah. Yes. Like. It's interesting how a lot of first-person platformers like Mirror's Edge still can't fully get this right, where something like Jumping Flash is like, yeah, look, your feet. Use your feet. Well, you can see your feet. It's pretty basic as far as these uh, 3D platformers go. But functional. Oh, yeah. We'd be playing uh, the second one if it wasn't functional. No, oh, fine. That's, That's true. I I fondly remember the first one. I was a kid though. Where is the Mumu? What is the Mumu? Oh, it's a water slide. Damn, he can jump so high. Yeah. His name is Jumping Flash. Oh, okay. now he's got a voice. Whoa! I. I'm just gonna go towards his exit. Moo moo. Yeah, he sure can jump. Robot. The robot. Got them all. 
and go to exit. But it's basically the exact same game as the first one. Ugh. It, but with the level design a little All refined, right. I will say. Like, this actually looks like a place where sure. the first jumping flash levels were a little more abstract. Wahoo! I... But it's still got that <laughs> boss ending stage theme. Yeah, th this era of, uh, of D-pad, like, first generation 3D platformers. Let's do it! This is definitely one of the, uh, better, more playable ones. One day we'll have to do a full playthrough of that stupid Legend of the Floating Crystals thing. <laughs> I just, I'm appreciating, again, the level design here and how it improved over the first one. And it's still got lots of weird floating platforms because of what the game is, but they still made an effort to make these look like real locations. Oh, all right. Hi, buddy. Oh, all right. Well, you know, with some exceptions. This is the way to travel. It's true. You know what? This is all right. This is nice and relaxing. Uh, yeah. Uh, Music's not bad. Oh, kind of, oh, that's, that's going to be a problem. Got in your way. One more time. Ooh. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. Use that to reset your jumps. Nice. Hi, pig. Pig? <laughs> He's gonna get you at some point. Hey? <laughs> oh, yeah. Look out for that guy. Got him! Got him! Oh man, but if you fall off, you have to do the whole thing again. Yeah, that's... that's not great. As was the stop. <laughs> yeah, don't land on that little platform. Fling you somewhere you don't want to be. Bam. Missile? Yeah, watch board? out for that guy. Oh. Can you land on those? Oh my god. Nice. We're going, we're going. Nope, don't touch me. <laughs> Get away from me, crab. Uh, Is that a sentient hamburger? Sure looks like one. Huh. Okay. Doesn't even hi, hurt me. Hi. Whoa! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> 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 Uh, wow. Well, you know, there's a lesson there. Somewhere. Don't trust sentient burgers. What a dick. Yeah, it's a real dick move. He waited until he had won in my trust. He, yeah, like that's that's what it was, is he lured you in. One left. Seems so friendly. One left. And then he hurled his lettuce at you. I think it was a pickle. Is it? Was it a pickle? It's kind of hard to tell on these graphics. Yeah, it was a, it was a uh, polygonal green thing. <laughs> yeah, yes. that's about as far as we've come in uh, okay. identifying it. Moo Moo is complete. I have all the Moo Moos. If I said dual joystick control, it would uh, be a lot more fun to play. Uh, I think they, made, I think they might have made a Jumping Flash 3. But it was on like a later console. But like, I don't I have... Found out there's no camera control. Uh, oh, well, it's first person. Yeah, but... All right. Go! There's no strafing. I don't know. There's no second stick, right? Oh, right, yeah. You have to turn all the way around. I don't know. Let's fight the boss! Sure. Let's oh. do it! Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa, whoa! Oh. Uh...
Uh, well, watch out. He's coming. Here he comes. Okay. That's the boss fight, huh? I mean, it's not a bad take on what it is. Not much to it. It's got style, though. Oh, whoa, oh. What's, uh... Oh, alright. <laughs> got a plan. Well, <laughs> throw strats, everybody. Alright, give me that right. fanfare. Ugh. That was no good. <laughs> yeah, someone should tell the pilot to aim at you. No! We'll take these, thank you. Oh my, what a revolting development this has turned out to be. Oh, he talks. Hey, Baron, Robert's here. We're saved. Just because he's the hero don't mean you got a root for him. Listen to that Jeez. voice acting. What a I like it. Yeah, what a, got style. What a bizarre setup. It also, is. star equals music exit. Huh? Star equals music exit. Hmm. Uh, I, all right, I'm gonna stop playing this. I just want to see Kabuki World or Pan World. Let's do it, I should say. Oh yeah, frogs and top hats. Stop. That's Japan. Ooh. Time stop. Zawarudo. Zawarudo. <laughs> I bet this would be a fun game to speedrun. Oh, yeah. Because the controls are just simple enough, uh, and the gameplay is just simple enough that you could really get crazy with it. Yep. What? There's a land under the land. No, I didn't. I can't jump. No. All right. Well. One more time. One more time. Uh, I mean, I think you've seen what you need to see from this game. Yeah, it's all of Jumping Flash. I mean, it goes on like this for probably another couple hours. Those cutscenes, though. Well, maybe we'll have to come back to it at some point. We'll be Jumping Flash 1. That's true. We don't maybe know. we'll have to go back and the important... do a series oh, retrospective. Oh my god. Bye-bye. Sometimes it's a little... There's some, there's some finicky stuff about when you can jump and when you can't. Hmm. That was a good first roll. So what you're saying is it's all downhill from here? Oh, yeah. 